Straight from Hope Ministry Sanctuary, Pastor Ralph here. Blessings to you all on a beautiful Sunday morning here in Wilson's, Virginia. I'd like to kickstart your Sunday and your week with this devotion. And I hope it finds you well. Let's pray. God, our Father, if it is your will, walk through my house and take away all my worries and illnesses. Please watch over and heal my family. In your precious name I pray this. Amen. Here's the verse for today. Thus says the Lord, the God of your ancestor, David, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Indeed, I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord. And you can find this in Second Kings 20, verse 5. There's work to do, deadlines to meet. You've got no time to spare, but as you hurry and scurry, ASAP, always say a prayer. In the midst of family chaos, quality time is rare. Do your best. Let God do the rest. ASAP. Always say a prayer. It may seem like uh, your worries are more than you can bear. Slow down, my friends, and take a breather. ASAP. Always say a prayer. God knows how stressful life can be. He wants to, to ease your cares starting today, and he'll respond to all your needs. ASAP, always say a prayer. So you might say, why pray? Prayer is to Christians as breathing is to humans. When I heard uh, those words, it brought prayer to a whole new level for me. If that is truly what prayer is, then that means I need prayer to survive each and every day. Prayer isn't just for the monks or the cloistered nuns, but for you and for me. Prayer is essential for us to gain a deeper relationship with Jesus. Prayer then must uh, be part of uh, my every day and not just one hour on Sunday. But why? What is so important about prayer anyway? The main reason prayer is so important is uh, because when uh, someone prays, it brings him closer to Christ. Through prayer, I can talk to God each and every day. I can listen to him and most importantly, grow in a deeper relationship with, uh, with him each and every day. It is our relationship with God that helps us gain heaven and prayer is the means to that relationship. You see, prayer also helps me against temptations, know that God's will, and countless more things in my crazy uh, life as each and every day presents itself. So how do you pray? The first step to praying is to get rid of the distractions and noise. I choose to call that my quiet time. Life is full of noise from morning until night coming from TV, the radio, internet, friends, music, and phone. None of these things are bad, but if they are constantly on, there is no chance that I will ever be able to stay focused long enough to say a few words in prayer, or it will never be uh, quite uh, enough to hear God's voice. You see, think of it like a glass of water being swirled around. The swirling water is like the noise and the business of life. When you set it down on a still surface, it will eventually slow down and stop spinning. Likewise, when I place myself in a quiet place, I will eventually be able to uh, quiet myself and slow down in my mind. It won't happen right away. No, it will take time and practice but i don't need to worry you don't need uh, you don't need to know how to pray do you put yourself in the presence of god and as soon as you have said lord i don't know how to pray you can be sure you've already begun so you don't have to worry about not knowing how to pray what to pray for 
There are many different ways to pray, my friends. I can ask God for uh, specific intentions, thank God for prayers answered, and blessings given. Praise Him for His generosity, or just recite memorized prayers. If I don't know what to say, there are uh, countless books uh, filled with beautiful prayers uh, for, for specific uh, intentions from literature or pamphlets. There are so many prayers at our fingertips to make it easier and give us a path on which to start. Just blessing yourself uh, with the sign of the cross is a prayer, my friends. So even if it is short and sweet, God is smiling at me just because he heard my voice. Okay, I talked about how to speak to God. But what about um, listening to him, to hear his voice? Imagine having a friend uh, that did all the talking and never gave you a chance to speak. We've all had friends like that, right? Would it be hard to deepen that friendship? God has many things to say to you and me. He is just waiting for us to listen. Now, I can't go strain my ears for his voice. It doesn't work that way. One of the many ways God speaks to us is through spiritual reading. Prayer purifies us. Reading instructs us. Both are good when both are possible. Otherwise, prayer is better uh, than reading. If a man wants to be always in God's company, he must pray regularly and read regularly. <clears throat> when we pray, we talk to God. When we read, God talks to us. All spiritual growth comes from reading and reflection. By reading, we uh, learn what he did uh, not know, but uh, by reflection, we retain what we have learned. Reading the Holy Scripture confers two benefits. It trains the mind to understand them. It turns man's attention from follies of the world and leads him to the love of God. Friends, you might say, well, now what? I have barely scratched of the surface of prayer, but I hope that this is the least uh, at least a starting point for you too. Prayer is so important and takes at least a lifetime to master. Just pray constantly. You can find that in the Bible. Find time to pray to show God that you truly want to grow in friendship with him. Start each morning offering it to God and the end each day thanking God for his blessings. Say hi to God throughout the day. He is everywhere and always has his ear leaned your way. Pray before a test. Many times I have uh, tried to write uh, in my books and end up frustrated, so I prayed. But then I say a prayer for help, and it all ends up working out. You see, the devil trembles at the sign of the cross of our Lord by which he Tri triumphed over and disarmed them. When you are uh, scared, bless yourself with a sign of the cross. When you have distractions, don't you ever, ever give up. Because prayer is the battle of distractions. And as long as you are fighting them and offer it up, it can be turned into prayer. Now, all you have to do is uh, quite simply pray. Friends, may God always bless each and every one of you watching and listening to me. You all go through life with Jesus Christ in your life. And remember, pray, 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 and know that God loves you and God is listening to you. May God bless you.